to get this done. Um, let's say that we're looking at log base 64 of 4. I mean, you could just put it in a calculator. If it's a, like a homework problem or a standardized test problem and you know that um, you know it might be one of those easier answers, then what you want to do is just follow along with me for a second. Log base 64 of 4. If uh, I put that into, if I did the change of base formula, I'd get log 4 over log 64, right? Okay, now bear with me. Let's take that log and let's switch it to log base 4 of 64. Now this one makes a lot more sense. Log base 4 of 64 I've seen before and I know that that answer is 3 because this is asking me what do I raise 4 to to get 64? Well, it's 4 to the third power. So what I'm going to do is in the meantime here, let's use a change of base formula on this. This is log base, or excuse me, log 64 over log 4. And again, we said that we know what this answer is. This answer is 3, right? Because 4 to the third power is 64. Well, look for a second here with me at, at this fraction. Log 64 over log 4 looks a lot like this one. In fact, it's the reciprocal of this fraction. So if log 64 over log 4 is 3, then it must mean that log 4 over log 64 is 1 over 3. Okay, so there's like a cool little trick that you can use to figure out what, uh, what these answers would be. And you don't have to do this whole change of base step in the middle. I'm just doing it to kind of show you what, uh, like how I get this cool trick to work. I think it's cool. Anyway, let's take a look at another one. Log base 16 of 2. Kind of just like the last one, kind of freaking me out a bit because that base 16 is way bigger than 2. So let's, uh, let's flip it around and let's make this log base 2 of 16. And log base 2 of 16 is, um, this is 4, right? 2 to the 4th power is 16. Well, when I switch them back up to the original problem, when I switch the 16 and the 2 back, then what I'll get is the reciprocal of 4, which is 1 fourth. Okay, not bad at all. So just a cool little trick that you can use to solve those logs that represent rational exponents, like in this case, uh, log base 16 of 2. Okay, so let's take a look at another one here. I've got 8 raised to the log base 8 of 15. Uh, that one just looks kind of crazy. Um, you know, you got a log in an exponent, which is kind of weird. So let's just go straight to the calculator and see what happens. 8 of log base 8 of 15. So we're going to go uh, 8 raised to a power, and we'll make that power the log base 8 of 15. Let's see what the calculator says. So wow, that was 15, which is uh, exactly this number right here. So there's got to be some sort of special little trick going on there. And let's go back and take a look at this problem. Um, if we just think about this problem for a minute, let's look at log base 8 of 15. So log base 8 of 15 is, again, asking you a question. It's saying, what do I raise uh, this 8 to to get 15? Well, it represents some exponent. What do I raise 8 to to get 15? Well, once you find that number, if I take that number and raise this 8 to it, then what do you think I'm going to get? I'm going to get 15, right? Because again, this statement is what do I raise 8 to to get 15? And then the very next thing you're doing after you answer that question, what do I raise 8 to to get 15, is you are raising 8 to that number. So you're going to get 15. Um, another way that you could do it is notice that this is an exponential form. So we're going to put it in log form. And in logarithmic form, this is going to be log and this number, base 8 of some number. I don't know what this is equal to, x. And that's equal to my exponent, log base 8 of 15. Now, I don't have to do anything fancy to solve this equation. I can just look at it and kind of tell that if, uh, if this number matches this one, 
and log matches log and both sides are equal, then the logical step would be to say this number has got to be 15. I mean, it would make no sense to say x can be 10, log base 8 of 10 is equal to log base 8 of 15 because they're completely different exponents. Okay, so either way that you want to look at it, the important thing to note is that this is going to work if this number right here matches this base. If the two bases match, then the answer is just going to be 15. Okay, so this is one of the two special cases that we were talking about when we uh, first looked at the learning target. So here's another one. Log base 9 of 9 to the 4th power. Uh, that's kind of one of those trippy ones that looks pretty difficult, but it's actually a lot more, uh, a lot more simple than it looks. But let's put it in the calculator anyway, and we're going to put in log base 9 of 9 raised to the 4th power. And the answer is 4. And it almost like fits that pattern that we just saw, where we notice that this number matches this number, the 9's match, so the answer is 4. But let's go back and figure out why that is. Okay, first of all, let's think about this logically. This logarithm is asking a question, and the question that it's asking is, what do I raise 9 to to get 9 to the 4th? Well, you would raise this number 9, the base 9, to the 4th power to get 9 to the 4th. So that sort of makes a lot of sense, right? Uh, we can also do this by algebra. We can set this equal to x because we don't know what it is. And it's in log form, so let's put it into exponential. So I'll take this number 9 raised to the power x is equal to this number, 9 to the 4th power. And again, just like the last one, when we kind of changed forms, this number matches this one. Both sides are equal. So it must mean that uh, x has got to be equal to the number 4. Okay, makes a lot of sense. So that sort of concludes uh, looking at the basics of logs meaning uh, solving them by hand, solving them by using a calculator. And uh, now just going back, let's take a look. If, if you guys need some supplemental practice, so if you guys need supplemental practice, you can find it right here at uh, page 490, 24 to 55. Uh,